guys, I am, I just cut my nails and now I'm about to file them and then I'm going to paint them this red color. So, um, me and Colby are going to get bowling today and the bowling alley has this really cool like bar thing in it and then tonight they're having an 80s band and me and Colby both really love 80s music so we're going to go bowl for like an hour or two and then uh, go to a little bar and listen to the music so I'm pretty excited about that and take you guys with us. There's a pair of shoes that I want, and that the outfit that I want to wear is the pair it was what I want the shoes for, and I was gonna wear it tonight because it is actually like 45 degrees outside, and this outfit is like for cold weather, but not when it's freezing cold. So, um, so. I'm going to go to Walmart, grab those shoes. Hopefully they still have my thighs. Last time I looked at those shoes, they only had one pair of my size. So I'm hoping that they still have that size. If not, then I'll just wear a different pair of shoes. But I really, really want these shoes. Um, but it is four o'clock and once I get home, I'm gonna get ready. He's already taken a shower and gotten ready and all that stuff because he's gonna probably play Xbox until I'm ready. Um, but I think we're gonna go at like 6.30 probably and then that way we can go for like two hours or like an hour and a half because an hour just goes by like way too fast in my opinion. Um, and it's just gonna be us two. So I'd like for us to have I'm hoping because it says reserve a lane and I'm online and I don't want to reserve a lane because it's extremely expensive to reserve a lane compared to just walking in and just getting a lane and I'm really hoping that um, there's going to be enough like lanes for us to not have to reserve a lane otherwise we're probably going to have to go to a different bowling alley which we really don't want to do because there's the 80 band, 80s band that's playing tonight at 8 30 and that's the whole reason like we really kind of wanted to go because it seemed like it would be fun so hopefully we won't have to wait very long if we have to wait at all so anyway i'm gonna run to walmart and i will see you guys when i get back in my car to show you the boots we're about to go bowling Colby shaved his beard and it looks stupid. Mama said there'd be bullies <laughs> like you. Do you know where we're going? Tear in my heart. Uh, should have did like a before and after before I shaved. Maybe just go back and like add a picture.
Okay guys, I am in the car, obviously. Don't mind the sheet in the back. I was, I was trying to protect my um, seats when we travel back for Thanksgiving to Louisiana from the dogs laying back there. So just ignore that. And uh, yeah. It's the next day. Um, I took a couple of videos, like a little bit of footage of me and Colby bowling, um, but I didn't get a lot, so I'll probably just, um, add like today and tomorrow in or something, I don't know. Um, I could get a few groceries. There are a lot of people at that, um, bowling alley. Um, and we only got an hour on the, um, lane, because we thought that'd be, uh, like enough time for us to play, and we did play two games, I won one, Colby won one, and <clears throat> we are tied, basically, so we're gonna have to go back, play again, see who the winner is, um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to leave now. And go to Walmart and pick up a couple of groceries. And I have to get some clothes hangers because, I don't know, I deleted that other vlog. But, um, I've never ever in my life actually finished my laundry completely and I said that a long time ago um well I guess it was a couple of days ago but I'm still doing laundry but I like took two days I took like a break for two days doing laundry so then more laundry piled up but today I should be able to finish if not today tomorrow should be able to finish all of our laundry but what I didn't realize is that since I've never finished our laundry completely I've never had to actually hang up every piece of clothing that we own. Therefore, I don't have enough hangers for everything. So, I have to go get more hangers before I can wash anything to be able to put anything up. And I really don't want to wash and dry things, like everything, and then have four or five loads of clothes just sitting there waiting to be put up, even if they're folded, because... Here's what my problem is, is I will rummage through those clothes and never put them up. So, anyway, um, I'm going to get off of here and I will see you when I get back to the car. Hey Google, stop playing the music. Um, so I'm back home now and it is almost 12 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but I fell asleep and I got home. But I wanted to show you guys what I got. From Aldi. So let me figure out how I can show you. I was really, really confused um, about Aldi. I've never been there before, and I was like really confused. I was really confused. Um, on how things work there. I've never been there before and yeah. You actually um if you've never been to Aldi, let me just tell you. So when you get there I walked in and everybody had buggies and I was like looking around for buggies and I couldn't find any. And then I realized people were walking in with buggies. So you have to go outside. All the buggies are outside. And you have to put a quarter in. Um, you have to put a quarter in to get a buggy. So then you put your quarter in. And then like once you put your, the little quarter in the slot. Then you can unhook it from the other buggy. And then you take it out and you take it in. And then you get all your stuff, and then you take it to check out, 
and you start checking out. And then they ring all your stuff up, but you put they put it back in your buggy without putting bags, without using bags. They would just put it back in your buggy. So then when she's putting it back in my buggy, I'm thinking like, okay, I guess I just don't use bags. So that's kind of weird. And then I look over and I see all these people at this little counter thing bagging their own groceries. And then I realized that there were bags that I was supposed to grab that I did not grab. So I was really confused. Luckily, the lady behind me had tons and tons of bags that she was trying to get rid of and she gave me some so I could put, put my stuff in it but um yeah that was really confusing anyway um so I got myself um some of these cabin socks because they were like three dollars and these are like really really soft on the inside um so I'm super excited about these they're like the best socks ever to keep your feet warm And then, oh, <clears throat> hold on just a second. I also got the, this little wine, it's like two little wine things. And I thought they would, they're called wine candles, and I thought they would have like the name on them. But I think this one was like Chardonnay, it was like super sweet smelling. And then I think this one was like Merlot, because it's red. And it smells like a buttercream. Like that's what a, like a, a buttercream icing, basically what it smells like. And this smells like, like super sweet, like Laffy Taffy or something. I don't know. They smell really good. And then they come in this little box and it says vintage wine collection. And then um, it has scented candles on both sides and it doesn't have anything on this so I thought this was so cute I think I might just use one I'll probably use the red one because it's more of a like wintry sweet smell and then put like something in here for decoration or like keep like the remote in here or something and then once winter is over because I don't I mean I'm assuming that this I don't know I don't know how fast it'll burn but <clears throat> When winter is over, then I'll just put this one in and then, you know, keep whatever in here. And I think this is so cute. And even after I burn through these candles, it's just, and it says vintage wine collection on it. So, I mean, it looks really cute and it kind of matches, like, it has, like, a grayish tone to it. So, it kind of matches what, I'm, what I got going on. So, we'll see. And that was $12.99. And, um... And I got these, and I think I'm either going to give these to my dad, Colby's dad, or Colby's grandpa. They are men's thermal socks, and I just thought they would, for some reason they're like wet or something. I don't know, I don't know if I spilled water on them or what, but um, I thought they'd be really good for going hunting like in the morning time. So I'm probably going to, I don't think Colby's papa goes hunting, I think he just likes fishing. Um, I don't know, but these seem like they are really nice quality, and these were $4.99, and they came with two pairs, so I thought that was, like, a really good deal. Um, and then I got Colby's sister her Christmas gift, so I got her a pair of the cabin socks, and then, so these were $3.99. And then I also got her this infinity scarf, which was like $4.99. It looks kind of weird because it looks like it's like different colors because of that light right there, but it's not, I swear. It is like an army green color and it just looked really cute to me and, and it, looked, it seemed like a really nice scarf. And then I also got her this warm vanilla candle and they kind of have the tops like uh, Bath and Body Works, which I thought was kind of honey but it smells really good so and it's just like a three wick candle just like bath and body works but this was so the cabin socks are $3.99 the scarf was $4.99 and then I believe that this was $4.99 as well so 
if you want to, I mean, it looks like a, like a bath and body wax candle, like even like this little cute, it's by Huntington Home, but yeah, um, scented soy blend, blend candle, so it's like soy wax too, which I think is better, I don't know if that's right or not, I might be wrong about that, anyway, yeah, so I thought that was a cute little gift to get her, um, and then I got Colby's brother-in-law a gift as well. I got him these nice, like, uh, it's like, um, what is this? I can't, I can't think. It's a sleepwear set. It's like a pajama set. Anyway, I really like the color of the pants, and then it just comes with a long gray sleeve, gray, long sleeve gray shirt to go with it. And I believe that these were $6.99. Um, and then also I got him this 20 ounce double wall tumbler. It's just a little tumbler thing and it says Adventure Ridge on it. I mean, it's not like a Yeti or anything, but these things all work the same. Like, it's supposed to keep anything cold for 24 hours and it's supposed to keep anything hot for 12 hours. So vacuum insulated 100% stainless steel blah 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 and it's 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 a nice little cup so I got him that so that's what I got him so that's their two gifts out of the way and then they have two kids so they have a um a daughter and a son so for their daughter she's like eight I think I believe she's eight so I got her this little tea set and it's um, a little porcelain tea set, and this is only three ninety nine. But I thought it was so cute. It comes with a little tea thing. It comes with uh, little bitty like three things at the top, like a little sugar and cream set basically, and then um, four little cups and four little plates. I just thought this was so cute. So I got her that. I also got her. Let's try not to break it before Christmas time also got her some little cabin socks um they're just like little blue they came it comes with two pair two pairs of cabin socks so i thought those were cute so i got her those and then i also got her this little ultimate drawing kit so you open it up and it comes with um 18 colored pencils like regular color pencils and then also 12 metallic color pencils and then it comes with this little um whatever this is called a sketch pad it's literally right here on my face and i can't even remember a sketch pad so i just thought this was really really cute so i'm gonna give her that so that's what she got for christmas and then i also got their son who i believe is 12 or 13 I believe it's 12 he's like a very mature for a 12 year old so um I didn't want to get him anything that was like kiddish ish but um he's really he really likes sports a lot so I thought he'd really like this this is a over the door basketball hoop so it's like a legit like basketball hoop like it was like um spring action steel breakaway rim so in case you want to be you know dunking basketballs in your bedroom um and then it also comes with a little basketball and a little air pump so i thought that was really nice so that's what i got him for christmas um and so yeah i got their gifts out of the way so now all i have left to get and then uh they didn't have um hangers at aldi so i had to go to the dollar store and I got this it says tough with an exclamation mark so apparently they're super tough um they're just black hangers but they were only a dollar ninety five a dollar sixty five something like that for a gin pack so I got like one two three four five five packs did she okay I was thinking she rang six up, but I, I, I was, I can't remember if I got five or six, but I did get five. So I got 50 of these. They come with 10 and they're only a dollar. Um, they're only a dollar, like 65 or something like that. Well, I guess I could get a seat and tell you. 
Oh, a dollar twenty-five. So there you go. If you need some tough hangers, you know where to go. The Dollar General. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that's everything I got. Um, I'm gonna have to wrap these. I'm probably gonna have to go to Walmart tomorrow and get some more Christmas bags because I keep forgetting how many people I'm buying for. Um, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> so all I ha sorry, all I have left for Christmas presents is um just Colby's grandparents and then my dad and Colby's dad. So four people, and I'm pretty sure I know I'm gonna get my dad. Um, I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna get Colby's dad, which I have an idea ish. Um, but yeah, so that's all I got. And then I also got, um, oh, and I have to get Colby's nephew a gift. <clears throat> so, not, ne yeah, nephew. Yeah, he has a nephew that's like five years old, five, five or six, I can't remember. So, I'm gonna get him something. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. Just wanted to show you guys what I got because when I got back in the car it was really dark and then I realized that I had to go to um, the Dollar Tree because I didn't get any uh, hangers. So yeah, this house is a freaking mess so tomorrow I'm, that's what I'm going to have to do is clean and then on Tuesday I have my new hire, new hire employee employee orientation at like 8 30 in the morning so I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow and like get crap done and then that way I can go to sleep early tomorrow and sleep early and then hopefully um get up early so yeah Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that stuff. I'm just sitting on the couch, so I'm probably gonna try to edit these two days of footage. Um, and then maybe see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, so, I unfortunately took a nap earlier because I was extremely tired and I don't know why. Because I didn't do anything today except for go to Aldi and that wasn't that ex like strenuous or anything. And slept really, really late because we went to sleep late last night. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep following this cycle, I guess. <laughs> really need to like go to sleep way earlier, but <laughs> can you not? Miles Shane Shepherd thinks that he has to be able to see my Chewini at all times. So my Chewini is underneath the covers right here. Let's see. Damn he is. Damn he is. And Miles Shane Shepherd is seriously staring him down, crying because he cannot see him. Anyway. I guess I will 